Now, Channel 3, early warning weather. What a gorgeous weather day across Connecticut today. Blue sky, sunshine, comfortable temperatures, just about perfect. Take a look at this picture uh, that was sent in to us. And this actually, believe it or not, does play a role in how the forecast evolves before we start to see that heavy rain on Thursday. Uh, Andrew sent this in from Granby. Nice shot of the geese with red leaves in the background there. High temperatures today in the 70s for some made it to 71 in Windsor Lock, 70 in Hartford and Danbury, 67 in Salisbury, 66 in Willimantic, 68 in Chester and 67 in New Haven. But this front brings some big changes as we get into Thursday night, especially. I think that's where we're going to start to see some heavier rain build in uh, the excessive rain outlook from the Weather Prediction Center. I'm expecting this to be shifted east a little bit, believe it or not, which which means that more of Connecticut will be highlighted in yellow, which is where we have the highest risk of running into some high water issues. And the reason for that is because we pick up one to two inches of rain overnight Thursday into Friday. And this all begins with some showers and thunderstorms on Thursday afternoon. And that's all going to evolve into uh, some heavy, heavy rain overnight. I think we're going to see wind gusts pick up throughout the day on Thursday too. Starts off a bit breezy in the morning with gusts approaching 30 miles an hour into the afternoon and evening. Some gusts may be above even 35 or 40 miles an hour. I don't really expect much in the way of tree damage or anything like that, but this will certainly strip some of the leaves off of the trees. And that means that we are going to be dealing with heavy rain, leaves all over the ground, making roads slick, and that also could cause uh, drains to be blocked, things like that, and therefore some standing water. I'm going to time that out in just a second. First, let's talk about tonight. Mostly clear tonight with temperatures roughly uh, around 40 to 45 degrees, a little bit cooler across northwestern Connecticut. Right now in Waterbury, it's 53, and I'm expecting to see some fog develop with clear skies and calm wind. Not much to talk about. We don't have any clouds overhead tonight. We start the day out tomorrow with full sunshine, quiet through the morning and even into the afternoon. But later in the evening, we'll start to see high clouds become thicker and lower a little bit with overcast conditions expected by this time tomorrow night. And that, of course, is all out ahead of the showers and storms on Thursday. So the way that this is all going to time out is that Thursday morning we wake up to maybe a few sprinkles here or there with some overcast conditions and a couple of showers or storms that move through between 9 a.m. and 3 in the afternoon. But the later we get into the evening, the more likely it is we start to see these batches of heavy rain develop and move in. I'm expecting some pretty impressive rain rates under these, uh, some very, very heavy downpours likely between about 6 p.m. on Thursday. So a hair earlier than what I was saying earlier, lasting all the way until about 3 or 4 a.m. on Friday with drier conditions on the way for Friday morning. If you had plans to go enjoy the foliage, things are looking great for us here in Connecticut right now. We're in the moderate approaching high across northern sections of the state, uh, but to our north, some spots are already peaking. You've got some peak in the Adirondacks and across portions of Vermont, New Hampshire and Maine. But again, with strong wind gusts in the forecast, that is going to take some of the leaves off the trees a bit prematurely. So I hope that doesn't have too big of impacts there. I changed uh, Thursday from breezy to windy, still breezy on Friday, breezy into Saturday too. Great weekend though, lots of sunshine inland and at the shoreline. And then next week we could see a couple more showers and behind that much cooler air starts to build back in.